Lesson 11.7, Partition Rectangles. This is about area. Now this is Lesson 11.6 in the 2012 copyright. This square is a square tile, and it's also called a ones block. A row goes across, rows are horizontal, a column goes up and down, columns are vertical. A row goes across like a row of seats. A column is going up and down like the column of a building holding up the roof. We can find the total number of same size squares that will cover a rectangle. We cover the rectangle with square tiles, then count how many we used. There should be no gaps or overlaps of the square tiles. We take a square tile and put it into the corner very carefully. We take another one. That's two. That's three. That's four. Be very careful. That's five. And we can fit one more, that's six. We have a row and another row. So we have two rows. When we look at our columns, we have one, two, three columns. And we have six square tiles. We make sure the square tiles do not have gaps, that means spaces, or overlaps, that means they're on top of the other tiles. So you want it to be nice and neat like this. We could fit more square tiles here. There's too many big spaces that are left open, aren't there? And these are on top of each other. That's too many. So we wanna make sure we do it nice and neat with no gaps and no overlaps. Here it's telling us to use square tiles to cover the rectangle then write the number of rows, columns, and tiles. We start by putting a tile in the corner up here. Then we put another one, and we do it for the whole row. I was able to fit four square tiles in this row. We make another row, and I can make another row. I have one, two, three rows. I have one, two, three, four columns. We have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve square tiles. Three rows of four columns makes twelve square tiles. This rectangle is very thin, isn't it? It's kind of long and thin. We start by putting one square tile in this corner. We put another one. That's two. That's three. That's four. We only have one row but we have one, two, three, four columns. We have four square tiles. Again, we start by putting one in the top corner like that. That's two. Can put another Start another row. We can fit two in that row. We can start another row and fit two in that row. We have room for one more row, don't we? We have one, two, three, four rows, and we have 
one, two columns. That's two, four, six, eight square tiles. Emma made a rectangle with square tiles. Each row had five tiles. Each column had two tiles. How many square tiles did she use? We think we can draw the rows and columns to help us. It says each row had five tiles, so we can make one, two, three, four, five, and it says each column had two tiles, so that means coming down this way, there's two. So that column has two, that one has two, that one has two, that one has two, and now that one has two. Do you know how many tiles Emma used? We can count them. We have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. She used ten square tiles. So drawing a quick picture can help. In our next lesson, 11.8, which will be 11.7 for the 2012 copyright, we're going to talk about equal parts. And have a really great day, and I hope you'll join me next time. Remember to hit the like button for me. Bye.